Peter Bauer is the owner of Waco Classic Airplanes. We're standing here in front of the new Great Lakes, which is a revival of a classic airplane. Tell us about this. Yeah, it is. This uh, The airplane, of course, was originally built way back in the 1930s, and then it returned to production in the 1970s, and then uh, production ceased in the early 80s, much like many piston airplane manufacturers did at the time. We've taken the opportunity to return this airplane to production, but incorporating all sorts of fabulous improvements that I think uh, customers today will appreciate. The changes start up front and continue to the back, larger cockpits, improved engine performance, improved cooling, improved landing gear, all sorts of items. Well, take us through some of the specifications on the airplane. How high, how fast, how far? Sure. Well, we start up front with a new spinner. We have an optional propeller from MT. The engine is a Lycoming AEIO 360 180 horse. So that means it's the aerobatic variant of the IO 360. So it's fuel injected, great for all sorts of aerobatics, including inverted flight up to three minutes. Continuing further aft, we've installed LED position lights in the upper wings. Again, a change from earlier airplanes. We have a new beacon on the belly. The cockpit is dramatically improved over the 1970s airplanes. Four inches larger, wider, metalized side skins. The instrument panel is cleaner, but also much more capable. Garmin GPS that has ADSB traffic and weather, mm -hmm. radios and transponder from Trig. We have a full engine analyzer from JP Instruments, the JPI 930. Really, really nice improvements to the airframe. So what's it like to fly? I'm a lucky man to have the opportunity to fly this airplane and the large Waco YMF5D that we also build. I can honestly say every time I get out of this airplane, I'm smiling. Tell us about some of the flight characteristics of the airplane. I know it's an open cockpit biplane. That's going to be pretty much all about fun. It is. You know, the, the connection with the flight is so much more vivid in an open cockpit biplane. The wind, the sound, the smells, the completely unobstructed view of everything around you is an experience that people lucky enough to fly this type of airplane you always rave about and why they always come back to get that experience and come back to our booth frequently and with memories of flights that they've had in, the, in this airplane or similar airplanes in the past. So somebody comes and orders an airplane from you, how involved are they in the process and what is that process that gets them from signing their name on a piece of paper to at the airport flying? To order an airplane, we accept a $5,000 refundable deposit. And honestly, we've refunded a couple of deposits over the years from people who've placed orders. And it's normally a medical issue or a hangar space problem or any number of things. But the deposit uh, guarantees you a serial number. And when we start construction of your airplane, then there's other progress payments throughout the, the, the assembly of the airframe. The Great Lakes, much like the Waco, can be very customized. So uh, the paint scheme, obviously, on this yellow and checkerboard airplane is very unique. Customers may have a very traditional paint scheme in mind, but we're happy to work with them on really anything that, the, you know, within reason, of course, that they're, uh, they want to try. And taxes, tax, title, destination, charge, dealer, prep out the door? <laughs> yeah, Flyaway Factory, 245000 Great. Peter Bowers from Waco Classic Aircraft, thanks for taking some time to talk to us on AeroTV. Thank you very much, and uh, yeah, we're joining the show. AeroTV is brought to you by... Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com.